I spent another hour or two working on this, and I've implemented some additional stuff, including the ability to uh, paint unwalkable and walkable areas separately, so that you don't have to repaint the whole thing when you don't want to. And you can also delete tiles, but most importantly, we can now use these flags, and I can print these flags. Uh, so let's put a trigger here, and uh, we have to go back and reselect the ground. That's a flaw that I haven't yet fixed, but I'll, I'll get around to it. And then put another trigger here. So now we've got two triggers, and let's go ahead and connect them. So we can go ahead and add an event on each of them, and then we'll just drop each trigger onto the other, and we will say map trigger dot move to, and the same one over here map trigger dot move to. So now, when we hit play, I can walk over to the staircase. Boom! So you can see how this is a whole lot easier than any scripting that you've had to do before. Uh, and it works out really well. Um, the basic idea is that you can expand this same triggering system to anything. You can That includes things like switching to a new scene, even. So you could connect this door or this stairway to the basement, uh, and then you could connect it back up. Uh, you can set spawn points and stuff like that. All of this stuff can be done via drag and drop rather than via code. And I think that's a really powerful way to do it. Uh, now, in terms of uh, having difficulty walking through the door, I haven't quite figured out the character controller perfectly. I'm trying to avoid making it aggressively um, tile locked, but whatever. Uh, there's also this problem where this, this tiles flicker. I'm not sure. If anyone knows how to fix that, let me know. Uh, right now, the only way I know of how to fix that is to turn it into a 3D mesh, and that's um, that's a little bit prohibitive. Boom.